Hello, this is David from goldstartool.com and today I'm going to show you the different between all different type of uh, sewing machine motors. As you know, uh, there are a variety of motors out there. I'm going to try to explain to you the different. Um, this is a clutch motor right here, which is obsolete. And no one should ever buy a sewing machine with a clutch motor. Number one, it's really heavy, 42 pounds, really heavy. It takes a lot of elect electricity and it makes noise and it's constantly running. And because it's running, it's making a lot of noise and a lot of electricity. So this is what we used to have till five or even more, seven or eight years ago. We used to sell our sewing machine with one of these. Not anymore. The reason it's called clutch motor is because actually there's a clutch inside here. Right in here, there's a clutch, like a stick shift car that you drive. It will uh, stop and go as you put your feet on the pedal. So it's constantly making a lot of noise. So this is a clutch motor. Do not buy a machine, uh, even a used machine with clutch motor because these are obsolete. You can't do anything with it. Uh, and uh, they're not in the market. So this is what we do not want to buy and so let's say you want to buy a machine what are you going to buy what type of sewing what type of motor so the most common motor now in the market is a servo motor which is only five pounds even if it's five pounds it's made by new tech most common size motor is 400 watt as you could see 110 volt uh, and it's made for any type of sewing machine, single needle, overlock, walking foot. And when you buy a motor, um, it's very easy to install it to a sewing machine that used to have a clutch motor. I have here a sample of a table with three holes. All you have to do, match the three holes on the bracket right here. This is a bracket and you have to match this when you take your clutch motor out the same way that clutch motor was on, you put that in our case this way. As you could see, there is a hole right here. The other way around, I'm sorry. You have holes in here and you have holes in here and there's a hole in the back if you could we get, we could get it right. And this is the only thing you have to do to get your servo motor going. If you buy a brand new machine, it comes with it. So we could just install it. If you buy, if you have an old machine that you want to change, which a lot of people are doing these days, everybody should change their motor to a servo motor. Do not use clutch motor anymore. So when you change, you just, you get, you get a kit, with the kit, you have these three long screws. You have this washer, spacers, anything that you need to make an exchange. You have these cable fasteners, washers, and even extra fuse. And a lot of people call me, they tell me what are these. These are brushes, I'm gonna take them out. These are brushes, which will go here. There are two screws on both sides of the motor, which the brush goes in there. This right here, and the other side right here, which if you need to change after a while, after two or three years of use, you could change the brushes. Number two, you get one of these, these are a break. And I haven't heard anybody changing it, but these are the tools that come with it. So when you get the box, you get these all assembled, like the way you see right here, you have the wheel cover or the belt cover, and you also have the ball joint right here. This is what you'll be getting. Now, there is a 
plug here for your lamp. Now, these days you only use LED lamps. So when you buy an LED lamp, you make sure it comes with a plug and you just plug it in here. Number two, there is a switch here that you could switch the direction of motor. I mean, depending on the different state, uh, sometimes the electricity is different. So sometimes when you turn on the machine, it's going a uh, uh, reverse. You could just change the switch right here to make it go the right way, the correct way. Now, a lot of people ask me, is it hard to change the speed? No, on a servo motor, as easy as you see, from zero, turn on, and you could go as high as you want, 3,450, or slow, high, slow. Very easy, as I'm doing it right here. Very easy to install, very, very trustworthy uh, motor. Again, it's silent. It does not make any noise, and I like this over any type of uh, uh, sewing machine motor. You could find this on our website, goldstartool.com. And now, by the way, it comes with a part book right here and uh, some uh, installation. The next one that we have here, and allow me to get rid of all the stuff right here, and I'm gonna start with the, the next motor that I'm gonna introduce to you is a brushless servo motor. It's the same thing as the servo motor, but it's brush, brushless. Um, I showed you the servo motor, it came with brushes. Now, this, this one had no brush. This is a very small two pound, a small tiny motor. This is made also by NewTek. And this one is 550 watts. So now I'm gonna explain to you the difference between these two. The, the only difference between these two is number one is brushless and it comes, the machine comes with this box and it has digits right here. So you could higher and lower the speed from right here. You could change the direction from here. In the back there is plug for the lamps. One goes to the on and off switch, which is right here. One goes to the ball joint and the other ones are for needle positioning. As you could see, you could even, if you wanted to, if you want one of those uh, lamps that doesn't have a plug and has one of those uh, switches, terminal blocks, you could use them for here. The terminal block goes here. Uh, the uh, pedal goes right here. If you have uh, needle positioning goes in here, and there is more variety, which on a lot of sewing machine you don't need to. And so the machine comes also with the ball joint. It comes with all the accessories and bolts and screws to do a, uh, if you need to change or if you need to put a brand new motor up, you get everything in your kit. It also comes with a belt, and it comes with a belt cover. Again, also with a list of the things you could do, and I'm gonna read them for you here. Uh, this is again, is a panel box right here that you could uh, um, control the speed. Uh, you could, uh, if you wanna do synchronizer, power, a speed control, uh, and motor power right here. These are the things that you could do in the back. But with with the servo motor, you could only hook up the lamps to it. With this one, this is your on and off switch. It's your terminal box. 
and you could needle polish and everything could be done from here. It's more expensive, around 20, 10, 15, 20, depending on the watts, but most of the people that I talk to, they just like to go with servo motor. It's much easier to set up and uh, a, uh, uh, easier, it's just easier to set it up. You could find all of this equipment that you see right here on our website, goldstartool.com. Please like our videos, thumbs up, uh, give us your comments, and uh, let me know what you want me to do next. Thank you for watching. Visit our website, goldstartool.com.